This video aims to help parents and carers who may be thinking about appealing to the Special Educational Needs and Disability, or SEND, tribunal, about a decision the local authority has made about their child's education, health and care plan, or about an education, health and care needs assessment. The Children and Families Act of 2014 says that you must consider mediation if you want to appeal against one of the following EHC decisions. A local authority refusal to carry out an EHC needs assessment, their refusal to issue an EHC plan, the contents of a final or amended and newly finalised EHC plan, the decision not to amend an EHC plan, or the decision to cease to maintain an EHC plan. The Tribunal would like everyone to have the opportunity to find out about mediation and decide whether a mediation meeting would help you. So the first step is to contact your local SEND mediation service to discuss whether you would like a meeting or not. If you want a meeting, they will talk you through next steps, and this video will explain what to expect. If you decide you don't want a meeting, they will send you a mediation certificate, which you can attach to your appeal form to the SEND Tribunal. Parents who contact our SENDIA service are often unsure what mediation involves. So this recording will explore what mediation is, why some families choose to go to a mediation meeting, what happens before and at the meeting and how to prepare, and what happens afterwards to help you decide whether you would like a meeting or not. Mediation is an informal way of settling disagreement with the local authority and or the health commissioner. It is completely free. In Suffolk, the mediation service is provided by Anglia Care Trust, but every county will have their own service. So why might a mediation meeting help you? You may want the chance to properly talk about your concerns and the issues around the EHC decision. You may want to find out more about how the local authority or health commissioner reached their decision. You might have some extra information or a new report that you want to share with the local authority. Or perhaps things have become much more difficult for your child in recent weeks and you want the chance to explain. You may feel that information has been missed that was provided at assessment or annual review. Or you may feel that further assessment is needed to make your child's needs clear. Any travel expense or other expenses incurred may be refundable. Remember, going to a mediation meeting is voluntary and you shouldn't feel pressured into going. If you have already had a lot of informal discussions or meetings with your LA, you may feel a mediation meeting will not be so helpful and you may want to ask for your certificate in order to process your appeal to the SEND Tribunal. To help you decide, we're going to explain what you can expect at a mediation meeting. Firstly, there will be a trained independent mediator who will try to help you all reach agreement. The mediator is impartial. That means they do not take sides or judge or give advice. Their role is to manage the confidential process fairly and to help all parties to communicate and explore the options to come to a resolution. At the meeting, there will be a representative from the local authority or LA who will come prepared to share the LA's viewpoint. This person should be someone who has the authority to make decisions. Depending on the nature of your appeal, there may also be a representative from the health commissioning body. Parents or a young person may like to bring a friend, advisor or advocate. Young people with SEND may need an advocate to help them participate. And in our county of Suffolk, 
you can contact Total Voice Suffolk to explore this, and here are their contact details. There may also be other relevant people, such as representatives from your child's school or college, or other practitioners who you or the LA might invite. Before a mediation meeting, the mediation service will agree who needs to be there, will clarify any issues and the nature of the disagreement, and will try to obtain the views of your child or young person. The meeting is usually held at the mediation service premises, but let them know if this would be difficult for you, as the SEND Code of Practice says that the time and place of a mediation meeting should be convenient for all parties. Meetings often take about an hour and must be arranged within 30 days of your request for a mediation meeting. Before a mediation meeting, we would recommend that you make a bullet point list of the issues to refer to in the meeting. It's common to feel a bit emotional when you are talking about issues which are important to your child, and having a list with you can help you keep focused and calmer and more in control. Do write down any questions you want to ask the LA as to why they reached their decision. Highlight sections of any reports you may choose to bring with you to help you evidence your points. This will help you to find the relevant sections during the meeting. Do gather any new information about your child which you want to share. You may like to send this new information to the LA or Health Commissioner representative before the meeting to allow all parties time to read it. You may find the following leaflets helpful in preparing for the meeting. They can be found on the Leaflets and Resources webpage of our Sendias website in Suffolk. At a mediation meeting, the mediator will introduce everyone. They will read through an agreement and check everyone is happy to sign it and go ahead with the meeting. This agreement will be about listening to each other, not talking over each other, and being considerate of each other. They will explain the role of the mediator to everyone, and they will give an overview of the issues to be discussed as they have been presented by the local authority and by the family. The mediator will make sure that everyone listens to each other, understands what is said, and has the chance to share their issues and ask questions calmly. They may take notes in the meeting and will summarise any agreed actions and make sure that everyone is happy to sign an agreement if an agreement is reached. They will ensure that each party has a copy of the signed agreement and they will issue a mediation certificate. The mediator will also try and keep the meeting feel relaxed and informal. If you reach agreement, the local authority must comply with these timescales. To carry out an EHC needs assessment, they must notify you within two weeks. To issue an EHC plan, they must issue the draft plan within five weeks and the finalised EHC plan within 11 weeks. To change the name of the school or other setting, they must issue the amended EHC plan within two weeks. And to amend the EHC plan, they must issue the amended plan within five weeks. If you don't reach agreement, you can appeal to the SEND Tribunal either within two months of the date on the decision letter you received from the LA, which gives you the right to appeal, or within one month from the mediation certificate, whichever is the later. The tribunal will not take into account if mediation did or did not go ahead, nor will the outcomes or actions agreed at mediation be shared or considered. We have further information about appeals to the tribunal on our Sendias website in Suffolk and our Sendias YouTube channel, including videos to help you fill in the appeal forms. This recording was made by Suffolk Sendias, but every county will have an impartial, confidential send information, advice and support service.